Hi guys, Mr. Rice here, and we're going to finish uh, the missions in repeat loops. Uh, so completing missions six through 10 in this video. So let's go ahead and share screen and look at those missions. We're in Cyber Robotics 101. We are in repeat loops. We've done missions one through five. Let's do six through 10 now. So mission six is point before you zigzag. Let's give it a shot. If you haven't completed the other missions before these ones in repeat loops, you might be a little lost. So I recommend going back and making sure you've watched the other videos and worked through the progression uh, because these do build on top of each other. Okay, so let's check out mission six here. Now you have time to find and set up the code yourself. Don't forget our tips. Okay, so it's the same kind of code here. And remember, we want to use repeat loops. So it looks like our robot is facing the wrong way now. So we need to make it turn to the left. And then we need to make it touch the wall, turn right, touch the wall, turn left, touch the wall, turn right, touch the wall. Anyway, you see there's a repeat loop happening there. So I know I need to start with a repeat. So click on control flow, we're gonna repeat. It looks like we need to repeat one, two, three, at least three times. So let's try three times. So the first thing our robot needs to do is turn to the left. So you can use smart blocks like we did in the last missions. I will not use smart blocks in this one. So a left turn is a drive block. Let's set steering and duration. And a perfect left turn is a power of 15, a duration of 1750, and a steering of negative 100. Negative 100 turns your robot point turn to the left. And that will be exactly 90 degrees, which will be perfect. Then our robot needs to move straight into the box. So move forward until the touch sensor is pressed. Then it will need to turn right and go forward into this box. So now we'll do a right-hand turn, which is the same as our left-hand turn. The only difference is the steering value is a positive 100. So let's duplicate, right-click on the block to duplicate. Put it at the bottom, change steering to 100. So that should make my robot turn to the right. And then we want it to go forward until touch. So same thing. Drive forward until touch. I'm just duplicating these blocks. So just to recap, I have a left-hand turn to start, a 90-degree turn, drive forward until touch, turn right, drive forward until touch. And then it should just repeat because we have a whole bunch of those. So let's try it. So it should start with a left turn, drive forward until touch, a right turn, drive forward until touch, a left turn, <laughs> drive forward until touch. See, we're in the repeat loop now. We're just zigzagging to the finish line. And there we go. Three was the perfect number. Excellent. That's mission six for you. Let's do mission seven, big zag. Zigzag all your way through the entire section of containers. You need to touch all of them to succeed. Don't forget your loops. <clears throat> okay, look at this. Come up with your own code. Let's get you started with a repeat loop. Well, we did that in the last one. We don't need their help. Okay, so now we got, oof, we got a whole bunch of ziggy zags, but it's the same as the last mission. You're just you know, having to do more repeat loops. So we're gonna copy the same code as last time. We're gonna do a, uh, oh, and now our robot is facing the box. So actually this will be even easier. We don't need a left turn. We just need to drive forward until touch. Wait until touch right there. Then we need a right turn. And uh, remember how to do a right turn. You set steering. Set duration, number, number. And a perfect right turn will be 
power 15, duration 1750, steering 100. Once we make the right turn, we drive forward into this block. Drive forward until touch. Oh, I'm just gonna duplicate. Easy peasy. Then, oh, now we need a left turn because the robot will be facing this block. And before we loop, we need to do a left turn. So we will duplicate our right turn and change the steering to negative 100. Okay, so let's look at that whole code. Okay, set trail color green. That just means you'll have a line behind your robot. It shows where it's gone. It's kind of helpful. Uh, okay, right now it says repeat one times. So we know we'll need to change that. Drive forward until touch, turn right, drive forward until touch, turn left. So let's count how many times we need to repeat. One, two, three, four, now it's hard to see the end of the thing there. I think it needs five repeats. So let's try five. If we have too many, it will probably be okay anyway. All right, so there's one. Here's two. There we go. Here's three. Zoom out and see the code repeating. See the highlighted section that it's on. There's four. Oh, looking good. Uh, it looks like I need to drive forward to finish. So we'll change that to six. Uh, let's go a little faster through this. Maybe we can zoom it up. Yeah, looks like double speed is working just fine. It goes way faster at double speed. And you can change your speed by clicking on the little fast forward time scale button there. And I select times two. There we go. You've successfully completed zigzag or big zag. That's mission seven. Let's do mission eight. Big zag with a twist. There's an anomaly at the end of this big zag. Can you wrap your head around this one? Find out. This zigzag has a plot twist towards the end. How are you going to deal with it? I don't know. Let's look. Okay, so it looks like the same code as before. Should have made a smart block. Uh, I can't see the twist at the end. So let's do manual control mode and see what's going on here. Okay, so you click on manual control there. I'm just gonna drive my robot through. Let's speed it up though. Oh, we're gonna zigzag through this, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look at that. And then at the end, we have a block there. We need to left turn into the finish. Okay, so it's the same code as before, but we finish with a left turn and a drive forward into the target. So we'll do control flow. It was repeat five times, I remember that. Drive forward until touch. Right turn, maybe I should use smart blocks this time. I'm gonna do my right turn smart block. I'm gonna do my right turn smart block this time. I'm gonna do my left turn smart block. I had to call it lefty turn. I don't know why my left turn wasn't working. So I had to make a new one. And I'm going to do my until touch smart block. So the right turn and the left turn smart blocks are pretty obvious. Let's leave those old guys. The until touch smart block is a drive forward until touch. That's all it is. So now I have three smart blocks I can use. Until touch, lefty turn, righty turn. Okay. So we start with an until touch. And see, much nicer. One small, wonderful color block. Thanks for this might be my favorite color. Uh, okay, so until touch and then a right turn. And then until touch, left turn. Okay, and we're going to repeat that five times until we get to the end. Then we need to do another until touch. And this time it goes outside of the repeat block because we're not gonna repeat that. We're just doing it one time at the end. You drive forward into this block here. 
you do a left turn and you just you drive forward to finish it off so let's see if that works okay this is a long one so i'm going to keep it at double speed okay so using my smart blocks now makes the code look a lot shorter which is great so it's working its way through the zigzag here i don't know if it's you but i get dizzy when i watch this Drive forward until touch, left turn, and then drive forward. So not too hard. You just had a couple blocks outside of your repeat loop. So it's the same as the last mission. You just add a couple blocks at the end. Zigzag mastery, the last zigzag, but now it goes both ways. Okay. So now we got, oh, we got a whole bunch of blocks that we need to touch. So let's do manual control again. So now we're gonna zigzag, go forward until touch left, forward until touch right, left, right, left. You get the idea. A little hard to control. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna do that. Let's count how many times we have to do that. We have to do one, two, three. Okay, and then we do forward and reverse it. Now we do left, right, left, right, and then a right to finish. Okay, that is tricky. So let's see if we can think about this. We know we'll need two repeat blocks this time because there's two zigzags. So the first zigzag will be the first repeat block. And it's a until touch. Oh, I got to add my smart blocks again. Until touch, I have that one already. I need my right turn. And I need my left turn. Now you could make a zigzag smart block from the previous missions. Just copy that code into its own smart block. That would be helpful for some of you. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Also, my smart blocks all disappeared. Let's refresh. I crashed Coder Z. How about that? Hopefully my smart blocks are still there. Look at that, that's helpful. Okay, uh, except for my left turn. Okay, so let's add the lefty turn right there. Beautiful, okay, it didn't crash at that time. So the first zigzag looks like it needs to go until touch, right turn, until touch, left turn. Okay. And then it needs to repeat that one, two, three, three times. Okay. And then that puts me right here. So it's a until to, oh, now I need another repeat. So now it's an until touch left turn. Until, ooh, see, it's a little hard to see when you're like this. Until touch, left turn. Until touch, right turn. Is what it looks like. And that's going to happen. One, two, maybe just two times, it looks like. Okay, and then to finish it off, you go until touch, right turn, move forward. So we'll do until touch, right turn, then move forward. So you could either use until touch or just a move forward. I'm just gonna do a move forward. So that should be correct. Let's find out if it works. So I'm gonna repeat. Oh, you know what? I have a mistake. I only repeat one time here. So I can already tell you it's not gonna work. 
Let's speed it up and just see what our error is. I meant to repeat two times and I only have a repeat one time. Left turn, right turn, left turn. See, now it freaks out because it only did it one time. That's not good. Let's make sure that's repeat two times. And we'll go fast through this. Okay, so repeat three times. Left turn, right turn, left turn, right turn. Le okay, now we're in the next repeat. Left turn, right turn, left turn, right turn. And then it should go right turn, drive forward. There we go. Last activity, touche. It says, good job so far. This is the last repeat loop mission. It's a challenging one, so don't hesitate to check the tips. So we'll work through it together. I thought the last one was a little tricky. Here, the robot needs to tap the container in the front, drive back to the starting point, turn to face the next container, rinse and repeat. Okay. Set the repeat block to three iterations. Okay. You'll have to figure out how long the robot needs to reverse in order to get back to the starting point before turning again. Oh, okay. So, looks like they pretty much give us the code. We just need to figure out the duration, how long to go back. So I'm gonna guess, let's guess two seconds, 2000 milliseconds and see if that works. So the robot goes forward until touch. Oh, wow, 2000 milliseconds might be perfect. Did I guess correctly on the first try? Wowzers, look at that. That one wasn't hard at all. I thought the last one was way more tricky. Look at that, you get a badge for completing the repeat loops missions. That's excellent. So hopefully that was helpful for to you. Uh, those are the repeat loops missions, six through 10. That completes our repeat loops. Nice job, good luck on your own uh, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.